Quick tip number two. Your multimeter can do more than just measure voltage. There's something here that says MA on it and 10A. What those are is for current measurements. You can measure everything up to 500 milliamps on this particular meter and on this range and you on this terminal and on this terminal you can read up to 10 amps. I would always suggest to read it, um, hook it up to 10 amps first before moving down to the milliamps in case your circuit is drawing more than the current rated on your on your uh, test equipment. So what you want to do is, I already know where I'm going to be starting here, so I'm going to put it on the milliamp range. So you keep your negative terminal on the negative of your uh, negative of your meter, and you put it in milliamp mode. So now this basically becomes a wire, okay? So don't confuse this for measuring voltage, okay? So this is basically a dead short. So if you put this across anything that has power on it, you're going to blow something up, all right? That is one thing I will suggest that you watch out for. All right, make sure you are hooking this up to something in series with your circuit. Never ever put this across any voltage or else you will blow the fuse. And if it doesn't blow the fuse, it will blow the meter. But don't be afraid to use that. That's what the fuses are in there for in case you do hook it up across a voltage. There are fuses in most multimeters that will blow if this happens. So what, what, right now we're in the milliamp mode and I have this power supply set up for 12 volts and I have the current limited to, this is a current limiting power supply and I can limit it to uh, anything up to its rated current, which is three amps in this, in this particular supply. So we have a 250, uh, 250 milliamp uh, uh, current limiting set right now. So if I was technically to short these terminals, it won't draw any more than 250 milliamps off the supply. Okay, or 260 milliamps. So we're pretty close. All right. So so right now this is dead short. This is dead short on the power supply, and the power supply has actually gone from constant current to constant um, constant voltage to constant current mode. And if I disconnect it, it will revert back to current and voltage, and the voltage will come back. All right. So what you want to do is you want to take your load. We're going to zoom down here now. And you're going to want to hook up your power supply up to one side of your load. And one side up. Now think of this as your, your current measurement now. This is your, this is your wire, okay? You want this to be in series. So you're gonna hook your power supply up to one terminal. All right. Then you're gonna hook up your other meter lead to the other side of the load. Now, if we go up to the meter here, we're gonna see what it, what what happened. Okay, it says we're drawing from the supply 260 milliamps and the meter says we're drawing 260 milliamps. It's that simple, okay? This is nice if you're trying to, to measure circuits and see how much they're drawing, how much you can rate, you know, the power supply for. If you, you know, you have some suspicious circuits that are drawing too much current, you can, this is how you set it up. All right, so um, it's that simple. All I got to say is make sure that you don't hook these up to anything with power on them like a plus and minus power supply. I mean, that's one thing I just recommend. I mean, like I said, the most thing that's going to happen is you're going to blow up the fuses in your in your multimeter. But uh, this is how you accurately would hook up a multimeter to measure a current source or a uh, current from a circuit. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.